guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Q&A all around high school because I am a senior in high school, it is my last year of high school, so I kind of feel like I've gone through it all. And I also wanted this one to be a little bit different of just a Twitter or Instagram q and I did it all on Snapchat because Snapchat has honestly been my addiction lately. So if you guys want to be in the next Q&A or just see my stories every day because I do try and keep them up as updated as I can, my Snapchat is here on the screen. And also, before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I do upload once a week. But without further ado, let's get into it. Well, I love you just as much. I've worn a whole bunch of different things. First day of fifth grade, I wore a sweater vest. Um, first year of junior year, I wore black pants, a gray shirt, and black Converse. Um, so really, I would just say whatever you feel most confident in, and that really can't come from me because I can't tell you what you feel confident in. Whatever makes you feel like the best you can be is what you should be wearing on the first day. Alright, so I was just wondering like, how the grades go and like, what's the difference between like, junior and freshman and senior and all that? Love you by the way. Thanks, I love you, and that's actually a really good question because I do get asked that a lot whenever I like refer to freshman year, stuff like that. In America, it goes freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year. So in high school, freshman year is ninth grade, or if you're like in Canada, I think they say grade 9, which is so cool. Um, sophomore year is 10th grade, grade 10, and junior year is 11th grade, grade 11, and senior year is 12th grade, grade 12. Um, <laughs> okay, so like I'm gonna be a senior this year and I'm kind of looking forward to school and I'm also kind of very sad that it's going to be ending because I did get a taste of reality this summer and I can kind of tell what life is gonna be like after high school and I'm kind of very fortunate and very lucky to be going back to school and be able to experience it again. Um, so I would just try and say keep your head up as much as you can and know that time does fly and before you know it you'll be in senior year or you'll be about to graduate soon so it literally does go so so fast so try not to wish it away really try to enjoy it because honestly you talk about you know high school middle school elementary school for the rest of your life it's always going to be these stories that you tell so instead of having it be like this negative thing, try and make it something that's great. Like, oh yeah, I did this when I was in second grade, it was so embarrassing. Or like when you were 10th grade, oh I had this great teacher in 10th grade, he did this. You know, stuff like that. Or maybe you'll meet like a best friend. You, whatever it is that will make you, you know, get through the day with a smile on your face, try to do that. Can you tell me what is one of your best study, like, techniques? Okay, so my best study tip, um, I'm actually going to bring it back to a tip that I did in 8th grade. I used to oh, get study guides, my teachers were like nice enough to make us study guides, and I would rewrite them completely over and over again until I felt like I understood the material and I understood the content and stuff like that, and I think that really, really, really did help me a lot. Say it's like the same thing, but some people say it's like completely different. So that's such a good question. It is so different. Looking back on it, eighth grade to freshman year, not that big of a difference. But for me, looking at it now as a senior overall of high school and looking at it overall as middle school, huge differences. First off, when you are in middle school, you're super insecure. You're kind of just figuring things out. You don't really you don't really know that much of yourself. You're learning a lot about yourself in middle school. You're going through puberty. Like a lot of stuff is just going on when you're in middle school. Plus, you're adjusting to, you know, getting older, but you're also stuck right in that awkward phase. In high school, you do kind of get a better sense of yourself, but you go through much more mature things. It's just a different type of transition in your mind, in your body, stuff like that that you just don't really know of in middle school until you get to high school. When it comes to like academics and stuff like that, every middle school is gonna say, oh, in high school, they won't do this. They do. Um, so like in middle school, it's like, oh, they won't give you study guides. I've gotten a study guide every single year for every single test I've ever done in my entire life. I've never had a test without a study guide. Or they're like, oh, they won't baby you, you know, all this stuff. 
They kind of do. They don't really give you that much independence in high school. Yes, you have independence when you're a senior to like leave if you don't have class and stuff like that. The best way to describe it is that the school kind of grows up with you. So the responsibilities that you think you will have in high school, you probably will have. Balancing social life, balancing peer pressure, balancing academics, sports, college applications, everything like that. Well, I'm gonna get to my junior year, and everyone keeps saying that junior year is the hardest year, and I was just wondering if that is true. Junior year is the hardest year because it sucks. It sucks as a year because, um, you know, you're just looking at the seniors like, hmm, almost there, but not yet. You get to see them graduate. You get to see them being praised. Like, oh, they just boil, boil your blood when you're a junior. That's the only reason why a junior year is the worst because it's just like the whole jealousy thing which I'm like, oh, you're a senior, you're doing all this stuff and I'm a junior, I get to watch you do it. But I will say, everyone says, you know, grades are the most important junior year. But I also will say this, my grades were the worst junior year because junior year is hard because it always has this amount of pressure on you. And you know, by junior year, you're kind of getting burnt out. And it sucks because that's A, the most important year. But honestly, it's not the most important year. What's important is your GPA. So what you have to do is you have to keep up your GPA. And then you want to keep your grades up in senior year. There's like a hair on my nose. Because when you're applying to colleges, colleges aren't going to look at what you got in English of freshman year. They don't care about that. They care about your GPA. So if your GPA plummeted in junior year, yeah, that kind of sucks because you have to apply to colleges with that GPA now. But they also look a lot at your senior year and see, how are you doing this year? I know you're applying to colleges, but are you slacking off? Do you not think school is important anymore? So even though junior year is super important, it's only important because you have to maintain the GPA that you just created for yourself the two years prior to junior year. What was your favorite class that you took in high school? Oh, this one is so easy. My favorite class I took in high school was broadcasting. I hope my broadcasting teacher is watching this. Hey, Merge. What was the most difficult year of high school? And I love you in your videos. Oh, thank you. My most difficult year of high school, I would say ninth grade, just because I was going through a lot in ninth grade. Um, the end of eighth grade, summer going into ninth grade, and the halfway, like halfway through ninth grade, I was really going through a lot. And um, the only way that I could ever get through it was through my YouTube videos, but I still look back on those videos. I was such a sad person during that time. Um, I guess I'll, I don't know if I really want to touch on it that much. I was like borderline depressed and I really didn't have any reason to be depressed. It's sort of just the thing that I went through as I was growing up. Um, I, just I just had a year where I was just very sad all the time and I was really depressed and I was scared that one day if things ever got so bad what I would do and I was just a very upsetting depressing time I was very scared during it I didn't know what would happen I didn't like going to school it just seemed that wherever I went I was just sad all the time it just followed me everywhere but I will just say that was just the part of growing up and looking back on it now I'm very very happy that I went through that phase because now I do appreciate things a lot more in my life and I'm very happy. That's the hardest year just because I was going through something that I never experienced before but just know that there is always light at the end of the Sophomore year is kind of just a their year. It's actually the most their year of all of high school. Freshman year, it's like, oh, you're welcoming to high school? You know, great. Sophomore year, you're seriously, you're just there. <laughs> so honestly, take it easy sophomore year. Don't take it easy and slack off, but I mean, don't worry about things too much. Don't You don't have to think too much about college yet. It's kind of just a great year to learn a lot about yourself. So that's really the best thing about sophomore year. Sophomore year for me was pretty bland. Like I said, the only thing that happened was I met a boy who ended up being my boyfriend the next year. Um, but that's like literally the only thing that really happened to me sophomore year. So it's a pretty uneventful year. So I think I've answered more than enough questions. I really hope this all prepared you guys a little bit more for high school and you feel a little bit easier and not so stressed about going into high school because honestly it is a fun experience. It does fly by super super quickly so try to enjoy it as much as you can now and yeah I guess that's all I really wanted to say. I'll talk to you guys all in my next video and thank you guys all so much for sending me videos. I love it more than you guys will ever know. So I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye!